Hello YouTube, welcome to this video. Cancer vlog number 27. I've been very tired this week, I'll be honest with you, and I'll tell you what I've been up to in a minute. So it's my last day of employment with the Royal Mail. I've worked with them for 28 years. I signed the paperwork yesterday, and in two next Friday, I'll get 12 weeks in lieu money. Then in about eight weeks, I'll get my lump sum and pension. I'd like to thank my governors, Chris and Hamza, and the union, that's Paul and Boz, for giving me ill health retirement and a very generous package. I will not go into exact figures on here, as that is very private. Just to say, for the next couple of years, I don't have any financial worries. I'm not rich. But I'm not poor. Thank you to Velmo and those people I've just mentioned and all my friends there as well for their support. Last weekend I went to church shops in North London with my mum and brother and got loads of sci-fi books so RJ had a grin on his face. My brother did a couple of DIY jobs for me. He moved a mirrored sci-fi B-movie picture and the bathroom to the hall and I, when I was in Brighton back in April I got an X-Wing fighter from a sci-fi shop and he put that on the ceiling. I'll be showing you what's new on my sci-fi and tobacco collection in a couple of weeks time when I get back home. I had many pints with my mum and brother on the weekend and it was a really nice weekend. On Tuesday, I, sorry, on Monday, I signed my will and then in the afternoon I walked 30 minutes, well, 15 minutes to a local shopping centre, did the chops there and then walk 15 minutes back. There's a slight hill going there, uphill, and then downhill coming back, and I felt very really tired after. Talking about tiredness, I used to be on one hour sleep a day, but this week I've been having to sleep for about an hour and a half. I can normally get up about eight o'clock in the morning and go to bed at half past 11 at night and sleep well, thank you to the sleeping tablet, and also my best friends, Mr. Paracetamol and Mr. Codeine. So, the tiredness has slightly increased. Next Monday I go home for 48 hours. On Tuesday I go to Bart's Hospital and see my consultant about my fluid and my lung. My cancer consultant is separate, but RJ's immediate problem is the fluid on the lung. And they can't give me cancer treatment, although touch wood is stabilised, until that problem is sorted out. So think of me at 10.35 on Tuesday morning, UK time. As you know, I've got a pipe and a bag. And the pipe is attached to the drain, and it's I was draining 100 to 150 millilitres a day. The body can absorb up to about 125 millimetres without any trouble. However, this week it's gone up to about 150 to 200 millilitres a day, which I am concerned about, and. I'll raise those concerns with my consultant. I love my bag. The pros and cons. The pro is, is getting rid of that fluid from my lung because if it stayed in my body, it'd build up again and I'd be spending another seven to eight days in hospital while they put a new tube in, drain, 
then leave the hospital. I hate my tube. It's a discomfort. It's a little bit cumbersome. And that's why I need the painkillers. list. I'm only on morphine and codeine. I'm not on, sorry, I'm only on paracetamol and codeine. I'm not on a morphine. Um, what else? Thank you for giving me these cancer vlogs a uh, thumbs up. As you see, I'm at my mum's place at the moment. On Wednesday, I come back to my mum's till Sunday because it's my nephew's 11th birthday on Saturday. My sister's on Sunday and then I come go back to my own house for a week. I'm going to give myself this week 8 out of 10. Thank you in advance for giving this video a thumbs up. More videos every week. And of course, next Friday, I'll be back with another cancer vlog. Thank you and stay lit.